Built by the Civilian Aircraft Company Limited at Hedden, near Hull in Yorkshire, the Civilian Coupe Golf Alpha Bravo November Tango was number three of only five ever made. Bunty, as she is affectionately known, first flew on the 18th of July 1931. Her last pre-war flight was on the 21st of February 1937 from Pendine Sands to Cardiff. There the engine was damaged due to a hydraulic oil lock, so she was dismantled and stored in a warehouse behind a butcher shop in Carmarthen. 38 years later she was rediscovered and purchased by Philip Mann, then the owner of shipping and airlines, and rebuilt to flying condition. Over the following years she has won several prizes and has flown as far afield as Amiens in France. The walk around begins with checking the mags are off and the throttle closed. Full and free movement of the stick, ailerons and elevators. The drawer is checked for anything loose, gauges look clean and undamaged. The trim is a spring bias system that sets a tension against the forces of the elevator. The tyres are checked inflated and no creep. The aerodynamic cover on the suspension bungees is realigned. The locking pin for the folding wings is in the correct position. The engine is clean and the rocker covers are fitted properly. The propeller is free from damage and secure. Oil level is checked and topped up if needed. The Venturi is clean. The wing attachment points and condition checked. The pitot head is uncovered. The rear fuse lodge cover and its latches are closed. The rear tailplane, fin, rudder and elevators are secure and full and free movement. The fully castering tail wheel is OK. A repeat on the port side of the aircraft of all checks. Satisfied that all is correct, we can now go flying. The cockpit is quite small, and just getting in is an art in itself. With the door closed from outside, the engine is primed with fuel and pulled through. Switch is off, throttle closed, suck it in. Taxing is done carefully, the view forward is very limited, particularly down the starboard side, making weaving necessary. However, even with the engine ticking over, there is enough residual thrust to accelerate the coupe to beyond a safe taxing speed.
Run-up checks are simple. All pressure good and no mag drop. Pre-flight checks are done. Trim for takeoff, mags on, fuel on. Gauge is set. Trim for takeoff. Today we are using runway 21, the wind is 240 12 knots, so we line up bias to the left and slightly across the runway to minimise the crosswind component. Same takeoff from the other camera. However, the wobbly picture is due to vibration and the rolling shutter effect of the GoPro camera. Bunty is a delight to fly, and the view around is quite good. At cruise speed, the ailerons are a bit heavy compared to the light and powerful rudder and elevators. Back overhead Biggin Hill, we turn downwind right hand for runway 21. The wind, as before, 240 12 knots, so we plan for a tail down wheeled landing to help with any crosswind component. Like a lot of tailwheel aircraft, landing on a hard runway can be very different to landing on grass, especially with a fully castering non lockable tailwheel. Directional control can be difficult to maintain. Bunty has good rudder authority down to about 20 knots. Below that speed, it's all about the brakes. Throttling back and trimming in stages to achieve an approach speed of 60 knots. This is maintained until approaching the numbers when we aim to slow up to 50 with a landing speed of 40.
same landing from the other camera. Golf Alpha Bravo November Tango, Bunting, part of the Shipping and Airlines Historic Collection.